So, um, okay, English. Um, Phil Zimmerman, I guess everybody knows him, uh, the famous PGB guy. Um, actually, uh, he asked me to uh, read his bio and uh, to say a couple of words. Uh, I did read his bio, which is pretty impressive and which starts uh, way earlier than the PTP stuff. Uh, and I don't want to say a word, I just want to ask you to read it too, because uh, it is very impressive. So, uh, obviously, we are having a secure connection. Uh, that is uh, Zphone, um, his new software. And I'm going to start the video chat. Hello. Hey. So I'm up on the screen now, right? Yes, you are. Very nice background. Just uh, hold on. Yes. Ho hold on for a second, please. Hold on to what? I can't record it. <laughs> did you can't record it, really? Did you deactivate it? Okay, then we don't... No, I didn't do anything. Okay, just confess. No, uh, I can't do it. Uh, anyway, um, just let me... And you did a test of that yesterday. Yeah, but... And it worked, right? That was yesterday. So, okay, um, uh, just give me the magic words. Uh, no, I have to give them. Uh, uh, classroom phonetic. Yeah, that's correct. Um, so that means there's no man in the middle attack. Nope. So just a second. So can you can you see the audience? Yes. Okay. Hi. You know, I, I was trying to figure out what to do about the fact that my office is so messy, and I didn't want to invite you know a hundred guests into my messy office. So I this is the first time that I've used the special feature that iChat has to put a background up. It's kind of like a blue screen, you know? So... <laughs> ah, it says recording request. Recording request. Okay, thank you. Um, so, yeah, just go ahead and have a microphone here. And um, everybody in the audience uh, knows that uh, if a question calls us to the sign, we uh, give the, the microphone. And um, so I think we're all set. So go ahead. Okay. Well, um, I'm uh, Phil Zimmerman. I don't know if anyone's introduced me, <laughs> why I'm here today. or. Uh, um, but I'm here to talk about uh, my new VoIP encryption protocol, uh, uh, which uh, is sometimes called Zphone. The actual, actually, the protocol is called ZRTP. <clears throat> um, as I understand it, this is an, uh, a, a conference on uh, Asterisk. We have it running on Asterisk. Uh, I wish I could show that, but I can't think of a way to demo it here. But anyway, um, for a long time, I've been interested in encrypting uh, phone calls. In fact, I've been interested in that for longer than I've been, been interested in encrypting email. Back in the 1980s, uh, I wanted to do that, but the technology didn't exist yet. So um, I had to wait 10 years until 1995 before the computers were fast enough to do it, and I developed PGP phone. So at least we had the CPU processing power to do it at that time, but there were there was still no um, infrastructure for voice over IP. Uh, no one had broadband, and there were no VoIP standards. So PGP phone was really not uh, not appropriate for that time. But fast forward ten more years, and things change. 
uh, now we have an emerging VoIP industry, and um, lots of people have broadband at home. So it's time to do it. Not only that, but we also uh, we also are in a much more hostile environment, uh, so the need for it is greater. Hostile in the sense that organized crime is attacking everyone's computers in uh, on the internet. Let's see, getting some messages. <laughs> Somebody's asking me if I can move my uh, camera. <laughs> to see that I'm actually in California and not in the next room. No, if I were in the next room, I would walk into the room. <laughs> um, but yes, I am in California. Uh, right now, it's 10 minutes after 9 in the morning. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm high on a mountain in California. <laughs> No, I'm just in my office. Okay, so uh, I'd like to talk about the need for VoIP encryption and why it's not just a niche product for uh, a sort of a boutique market. Um, when I first thought of doing this project, I thought maybe it could be for a few special vertical markets, people that could afford to pay for it. I thought of selling it for you know very expensive prices, uh, selling it to uh, maybe defense contractors, government users, uh, law firms, uh, uh, people that had a lot of money to spend on confidential phone calls. But as I looked more closely at the problem, I could see that this is really a horizontal market problem. Uh, the reason why uh, it should be everywhere is because the Internet has become such a hostile place. Uh, you attach your PC to the Internet, and within a few minutes, it's uh, being taken over by the Russian Mafia. And I think the same thing is going to happen to VoIP. They will start attacking VoIP when VoIP becomes big enough to attract their attention. Uh, now, if you look at, historically, the public switch telephone network has been... Um, I'm a little confused because I hear my voice. <laughs> I'm wearing headphones. I want to take off the headphones so I don't hear the echo. Ah, now that's better. If somebody wants to talk to me, raise your hand and I'll put the headphones back on. Okay, so I can talk faster now. Um, well, historically, the public switch telephone network has been, it's been easy to do wiretaps for the government to wiretap uh, other people because they would do the wiretaps at the switch and they would just uh, ask the phone company for a wiretap and the phone company would give them one. Um, but it's been difficult for other people to wiretap the government or to wiretap anyone else. Uh, you have to uh, get close to your target. Um, you might be able to, uh, somebody be able to, might be able to wiretap you if they go, say, outside your office and find the wires that go into the building and with your alligator clips and stand there for a long time going through the thousands of wires to try to find the phone on your desk to attach the wire, wire yeah, the alligator clips to and hope that no one catches them doing it. So it's hard for uh, criminals or, or anyone else to wiretap your phone, but it's easy for the government to do it. They just ask the phone company for a wiretap and they get one. So this asymmetry in the difficulty of wiretapping uh, has, been, has been around for you know, 100 years.